Okay, Francie, it's been a long, long day at this point, I guess, just past the bewitching hour. What's your thoughts on how the campaigns went and how the count's progressing? Well, I think it's a very good campaign, and I think the response on the doors has been excellent. The today, actually travelling around the polling stations again, very good response from, and a very good response from all of the staff within the polling station, and that, you know, that's helpful, and it makes it more personal, I think. Uh, but on the, the count here itself, you know, if all the boxes opened, it's, well, it's, it's too early at this point in time to actually predict what the result of that will be. But uh, judging that the boxes that I have seen so far, there's a good response and a good vote there. And uh, hopefully on the day, when that all comes out, that we uh, will come out of that okay. Huge interest throughout the 32 counties. I'm getting phone calls, tweets, inundated with, well, 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 call it, call yes, it, yeah, how's yeah. it going? So everybody's wishing you well. Well, it's too early to call it, I think, at this point in time, but, you know, uh, uh, we obviously want to uh, not be complacent about it, but we also want to be careful of it and, and look at it. But I think one thing that has come across to me, it's been a very enjoyable campaign, it's been a good campaign on the ground, there's been no hostility, and I think, you know, the union's attempt to try and bring this back into the past hasn't worked, it hasn't actually had that effect. I think the people have seen through that, and I, I am confident that the public themselves didn't engage in the sectarianism that actually was entitled at the start of this whole thing. Michelle, you're starting to look relaxed, pleased, happy. How's it going? Oh, well, we have a lot of people here looking at the tallies, and the tallies are looking good. The, the strong Sinn Féin voters come out again in force. I think that's testimony to the work of all the membership of the party that have been involved in the campaign over the last uh, wee while. Even all the people that live in Mid Ulster, but also the comrades from right across the island that came in and gave us a hand. Fair play to everybody because it's definitely um, turned out here today. It's very evident from the tallies that we've done this evening that um, people have come out and voted Sinn Féin and voted Francie Malloy. Party in Middle this weekend? Oh, absolutely. Everybody will deserve it because everybody has worked so, so hard over the last number of weeks. So, fair play and all credit to everybody for everything that everybody did. Everything um, all add, added together and made it a very successful. Hopefully, um, we'll see that now over the next wee while whenever Francie is hopefully declared. Thank you. I'm Ray Kirk, a deputy returning officer for the Mid Ulster constituency. Hereby declare that the election, the number of votes, each candidate was as follows. Eric Bullock, Alliance Party, 487. 487. <laughs> Nigel Lutton, Independent, 12,781. Social Democratic and Labour Party, 6,478. <laughs> Six, Francie Malloy, Sinn Féin, 17,462. 17,462. I declare oh. that Francie Malloy... No. First of all, I would like to thank Ray Kirk, Deputy Return Officer, for the work that she done and the professional way that she carried out this count. Not only the count, but also the election process that we've been through. I'd like to thank all the candidates who took part in the contest along with me, uh, and to thank them for the way that they participated within the election itself. I'd like to also thank my election agent, Ian Milne, for the work that he done in supporting me and uh, getting us through the elections at this particular point in time. But particularly, I would like to thank the people of Mid Ulster. The people of Mid Ulster who put their confidence in me as the MP for Mid Ulster. I would like to thank them and assure them that I will do everything in my power, work tirelessly on their behalf to ensure that the people of Mid Ulster are properly represented in this constituency. I would like to thank my colleague uh, and comrade Martin McGuinness for the work that he has done over the last 15 years in moving Mid Ulster forward and to thank him for the results that he pertain over the last number of years and last number of elections and to thank all my colleagues across the party in every way who supported me both within the constituency and those who come in from outside of the constituency. 
Martin's will be a hard act to follow, I, I understand that, but we will try our best to do that. We will continue to, to build the process within it and work with everyone. I want to represent all the people of Mid Ulster, not just those who actually voted for me, not just the Sinn Féin support within the area, but like all of the people of Mid Ulster, as we have been doing as MLA and will continue to do as, as we have done over the last number of years. So again, to thank everyone for the account for all the, the counters for coming here tonight and taking us through to the early hours. Uh, a very good job, well done, and the, uh, a lot better than on previous uh, counts, and we, the fact that we have it all over on the one night is a very important stage within it. So thank you all for staying out of your beds tonight and finishing this election campaign. So just to, just to finish, I would like to, to thank everyone who participated and to ensure that we actually will continue to build in mid Ulster. Good make it. for Mid Ulster. What message does this send out in terms of Sinn Féin's strategy in this area? I think it's absolutely brilliant you know, for Fancy and for Sinn Féin here tonight and it sends out a very clear message that we are going on the road that we have set out on a long time ago and uh, this is another, as I have said in the past, another giant step forward. On uh, uh, this, uh, this occasion I would like to thank all those activists there in the South area and, and Toronto areas that walk the streets there day and night there, you know, to get to, to bring this successful result. And uh, I want to say to all them there, thank you very much. You're always, and my thoughts anyway, and I know there after tonight there, you'll always be in Francis. Thank you very much. Martin, a superb result. What message does this send out from Mid Ulster in terms of Sinn Féin strategy? Well, it sends out a very powerful message that the people of South Derry and East Tyrone are rock solid behind Sinn Féin and Sinn Féin's peace strategy. I've been very proud to represent the Mid Ulster constituency both as an MP and MLA for over 15 years. I now hand the mantle on to Francie knowing that he's going to do a fantastic job, but also knowing that the people of Mid Ulster are rock solid behind peace and will stay rock solid behind Francie and his time as the MP for this area. So this has been a great result for Sinn Féin and we're absolutely delighted to see Francie take over the mantle tonight. Francie Kugarjis, a uh, great result. Um, I'm sure you're very proud not only of Team Mid Ulster, but more importantly the electorate in Mid Ulster. Yes, certainly, and that's the first thanks go to the electorate of Mid Ulster. It's a great boast of confidence, uh, and I think both to Sinn Féin as the peace process, but also to myself as actually working within the last you know, 25, 30 years uh, across Mid Ulster. It's very important that the uh, the people actually also work with us, and we we will for the future. So it is a, an important night. The people of Mid Ulster have spoken. We have a clear vote of confidence in the Sinn Féin strategy, and that is part of the process and what we need to do is to continue to build and involve people and to build the structure for the future. I guess tomorrow starts the real hard work. What are your priorities for the coming months and years? Well, uh, the priority first of all to get a bit of sleep in the morning, <laughs> but, but also then to uh, to continue to do that representation. I enjoy doing the representation on the ground, building uh, work for, for Mid Ulster, to create a job for young people like to allow them to stay in Mid Ulster, not to be forced to emigrate. And that's the role that I want to see develop. I will be spending most of my time in Mid Ulster. I will be giving up my assembly seat and, and someone else will be caught to that. And that builds the team. Builds the team Mid Ulster. Build the team champion. Okay,